from the U.S. National Development Program and BU, Luke Tuck. How about that reaction there from Luke Tuck? I mean, this the storyline here again. You like the bloodlines? Well, his brother Alex currently plays for the Vegas Golden Knights. Alex went to Boston College. Luke's going to play at BU. Luke used to joke with Alex. He'd go to BU and end up falling in love with their program. Twin sister, by the way, Leah, plays high school field hockey. So clearly a team and a family of athletes. And as you can see, the whole crowd there, I mean, they're fired up Alex together. Alex in the background right there, Admin. See his emotion there and how exciting that is for the entire family. Uh, EJ, what else do you have on Mr. Luke Tuck? Yeah, they're all smiling today, but when BC and BU get together, there probably won't be too many smiles in that household. But uh, again, very, you know, a similar... In the, from the standpoint of the physical nature, big, strong guy, just like his brother Luke is the same way, 6'2", over 200 pounds. He's a left shot. Alex is a right shot. But the difference is this, really, that Alex Tuck, if you watch him play in the NHL, he is a big, strong, skilled guy. Luke Tuck is not as skilled as his brother, but he's meaner. He's a nastier player. And the Montreal Canadiens, what are they looking for as they build their team? Bigger, stronger forwards to go with some of the smaller guys they have there. So he's a really nice pickup in that regard. Uh, one scout said he reminds him a little bit of a Blake Coleman recently with the Tampa Bay Lightning, was a key part of the Lightning winning a Stanley Cup. You need players like that, second, third line players that can really help you and move around your lineup a little bit. So the, the brothers, they have the similarities physically. But their games are different, and Luke is a, a nastier, chippier player. I did reach out to a couple of kids that play in that league that uh, have crossed paths with Luke Tuck, and they say the same thing. They said, boy, he's a chirper. He's in the battle. He's in the net. He's got the glove in your face. So uh, the Montreal Canadiens are getting someone that's going to add a little sandpaper to their group down the road. Montreal has selected Jan Mizak from Hamilton in the Ontario Hockey League. <laughs> All right, Jan Misha, look at the celebrations here. Yes, they're fired up. A little bit grainy here, but the center of Hamilton, it's exciting news. Listen, his older brother actually plays the NAHL in 2019-2020 with Austin. He was named the captain of Litvinov for one game in March of 2019, which made him the youngest captain in the history of extra league at the age of 16. He's a young man with a bright future, Sam Cosentino. Yeah, I just want to touch on a point that Reader made quickly about what Mark Bergevin is doing with the Montreal Canadiens and you go back a couple of years and they were drafting smaller skilled guys and now they've gotten really big all of a sudden now they go back to a guy who's slight of frame who fits that skill mold a really good skater a guy who was playing in the Czech Pro League and after the World Junior Steve Stales felt that they could get him over and get him playing with a young rebuilding Hamilton team well that worked to perfection this guy assimilated himself so quickly into the North American game it was this it as if he were part of the team the entire time. You get a chance to play with Arthur Kaliev, who's an L.A. Kings pick, a true sniper, and all of a sudden you find that chemistry, you find a guy who's really good on the wing, but also with the ability to play center. When it comes to Meshack, three shorthanded goals to lead all Ontario Hockey League rookies, and he did it in such a short amount of time because he'd only played in 22 games. So uh, uh, 25 points in 22 games for this guy. Speed, skill guy, no problem going to the net. He, like many of these players, when you start to get into these rounds, a guy that I projected to be a little bit closer to the first, just needs to build on that frame, work on his strength. But there's no question there's a lot to work with there. And I like this kind of ebb and flow we're seeing from Mark Bergevin. You get Edmondson, you already got Weber. You draft you know, a big defenseman in Gooley. You get Josh Anderson. Now, all of a sudden, you can allow for these kind of smaller, skilled-type players to feel free and easy out there on the ice. Meshack won't get there right away, probably a couple of years away.